What's up, everybody? I'm now joined by Ed Boone of Nether Realm Studios. That's right. How are you doing, sir? That sounds great to hear you say that. Uh, I'm doing great. We're really excited. Uh, new Mortal Kombat's here. My voice is shot, and um, <laughs> and uh, we're drinking Diet Cokes yeah, together. Exactly. Man. It's, uh... Day three of the show. We are hours away from being done. Uh, how's it been having people get their first look at the new Mortal Kombat? What's it been like for you? It's it's been overwhelmingly positive. You know, I think I think uh, the way I always describe it is I think the the planets are aligned. You know, there's this um, thirst for kind of like Mortal Kombat to return. You know, Street Fighter really showed that. You know, this kind of classic return to the the fighting is. Um, is where to be, and then we just hit it at the same time. We got this great, bloody Mortal Kombat game that plays like one, two, and three, and we couldn't be more psyched. I mean, we, at what point did you know that this was the direction you wanted to go in with uh, with two D and stuff? Was it during the development of uh, of MK versus DC? Yeah, you know, in the in the last game that we did, it was it was still three D, but it, it, this sounds kind of dorky, but the fact that you push down on your pad and you would duck. Suddenly, when we started doing that, I, I had this like, wow, this really feels good. Everybody on the team started saying, we should do the next game in pure 2D. And we had already made the decision to do it, but, you know, like Street Fighter hadn't come out yet. So I was a little nervous about it. I didn't know if that would be considered, you know, um, retro or, or, or kind of stepping backwards. But Street Fighter being embraced as it was really kind of energized us. It's like, okay, this is where to be. I think it's so awesome that now we're, you know, it's the whole Street Fighter Mortal Kombat uh, debate yeah, that's yeah. like, I feel like it's in 1992, and um, so it's just a lot of fun. It seems like that there's definitely a lot of hardcore fighting game fans out there, and, and maybe some new players getting in. Do you, do you think that the new game can kind of strike that balance of, uh, of old and new in terms of attracting players? Yeah, I think this is, a, this is the first Mortal Kombat game that we are actively targeting the more hardcore people as well as the casual guys. So I think... 2D combat makes it more accessible. I do th feel that um, we have put layers in, though, in terms of the general fighting, the, you know, really enhancing the combos, giving the player as big of a palette of special moves, and um, catering to the hardcore guys more. So we're, I'm really um, looking forward to seeing what, what they're going to do with the game. Uh, and now you've got this, uh, this crazy super meter now. Uh, of course, you've had meters and stuff in the past, but uh, this time you fill it up and you get the X-ray move. Where did, the, where did the idea for the, the x-rays come from? We, we've had discussions about, you know, well, what can we do with gore? And, you know, so the idea of modeling the insides of characters, getting hearts and, 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 and showing damage on the inside. And so during, actually, during uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, we started getting, developing tech to, you know, peel back the skin show bones breaking and kind of it's, it's a little bit like a, a CSI type of like attack or something and um, so we're really doing a lot with that and fatalities it's great because you know all of a sudden we have stretchy limbs and, and guts and stuff coming out so it's you know it, it's like the current um, latest technology showing your favorite stuff from the past cool uh, speaking of favorite stuff from the past seems like the roster is deliberately taking from the first three games in the series. Yeah, I think there's 26 boxes okay. total with the question mark and the DLC, which yeah. is going to be a big thing in downloadable content. And, um, but if you like, if you were to ask somebody, okay, well, what's your favorite character from MK1, 2, and 3? Chances are if somebody said, oh, Nightwolf or someone like that, it's probably going to be in the game. I don't think it's going to be a big secret when we see um, characters unveiled, but we have some surprises as well as DLC coming too. Cool. Uh, so if I were to say, boy, it sure would be cool if Stryker was in the new Mortal Kombat, you would say? Yeah, it would be cool if Stryker was in the new Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, let's talk about finishing moves. Uh, like you were saying, I mean, this is the first time there's been pure fatalities, and I think uh, Hector was saying six years, was it? Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, the last game we did, had uh, T-rated fatalities. Yeah. The game before that had kind of like a creative fatality thing, but it wasn't since Deception 2004 that we haven't had the kind of traditional M-rated, you know, shocking fatalities. We started doing fatalities from day one in this game, you know, so that was a big, a big difference is um, we always do the fatalities at the end of the game, but let's say, okay, let's start from the beginning and just make fatalities for two years. And uh, you're going you're gonna to get a good idea of the kind of sick crap that we've been coming up with. It seems like that most of these are, are all new in a lot of ways. Was that just meeting after meeting after meeting, late night pizza session of just like, all right, what if we have him rip his arm off 
and then what, what do we have? Shoot the missile, then it creates four separate chunks, and then the missiles lock onto those chunks. Of, like, like, how did that stuff come together? We have regular fatality meetings, and you know, the designers and, and actually anybody on the team comes up with something, and we say, if everybody gets excited about it, then we decide to do it. Um, my thing, I, I actually wanted a few fatalities to be combinations. You know, in Mortal Kombat 2, Kung Lao had a fatality where you would throw his hat and cut your head off. He also had another fatality where he would split you in half. So we put one that was kind of, we call it like a, you know, merge the two together. So he, he throws his hat and cuts your head off and then he slices you in half. And so we're, we're, we're taking a lot, of the, a lot of the old fatalities, combining them together into like a, an uber fatality. So, but making them has been one of the, the funnest uh, parts of doing this game. So you have fatality meetings, but do you have, let's say, friendship and babality meetings as well? What was that? Never mind. <laughs> uh, so, just on, on a personal note, I saw uh, you were presented with a Guinness World Record uh, here at the show uh, for the long, it was, it's the longest running U.S. voice actor for the role of Scorpion. Uh, how does that feel? That's got to be crazy. It feels random. Um, I think the uh, the fact that they told me it, I said, you know, I, is that something that people are measuring? Is that something that? <laughs> like, I mean, who's in second place on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> who's gunning for you? You now? know what? You know what they told me? The guy who did the voice of Mario was in second place, oh, and yeah. then they found out that he didn't have a voice until uh, the end of the Mario sixty four, and Mortal Kombat was before that. So, I, I reign champion. The reigning champion, world record holder, Ed Boone. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, when are you looking to ship Mortal Kombat? Uh, it's coming out in the spring of 2011, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Awesome. Thanks again. Thank you.